Hi guys. Game of the Oh shit. The bottom is on the top. <laughs> the bottom's on the top. <laughs> Today we're going to be looking at the Sony HTS 5, I don't even know what I got, where am I going? Hold on. Where was I? It's the HTZ9F. Uh, I've been nerding out, researching a lot and a lot and a lot, and I've narrowed it down to this uh, soundbar system. It's a 3.1 setup, but in the future, when, um, I guess when we save up more money, I'll get the, the rear speakers that come with it. It's sold separately, but that alone is like 400 or something like that, so that's gonna have to wait. But uh, today we'll do an unboxing of the soundbar and the subwoofer that it comes with. I believe it's rated at 400 watts, and uh, let's see what it's about. Uh, it, has, it has Sony's vertical surround technology, and I guess that's supposed to simulate like a 7.1 surround sound so supposedly we'll be hearing sounds like on back of us or on the side of us so when even on top of us so if like a helicopter flies over on the screen i'm supposed to feel that shit you know i'm supposed to feel what i paid for oh damn there goes the 900 dollars i spent on your shit you know? and when when there's a, like a marching like like an army marching from like this side to that side like you can really hear it but i don't know we'll see we'll see we'll see we'll see and by the way, if you're new to our channel, consider uh, liking and subscribing the content. Uh, if you're if you're watching this again, uh, thank you for the support, and we appreciate it. Me, JJ. When you've been doing as much research as I have to see which soundbar I feel would go great with this living room, um, you're very busy. So busy, um, your kid will look like this. Look at his face. He looks like nobody <laughs> takes care of him. Oh, see, he thought it was funny. All right, so yeah, uh, let's do an unboxing. Oh, by the way, um, so this uh, soundbar it actually supports Dolby Atmos. That's the latest and greatest. It's so good that not many movies even offer it. Yet. Um, it also supports DTSX. It's another audio format that's like 4K quality, high resolution. And this is the vertical surround engine that I was talking about. <laughs> I guess they're able to... Alright, so most soundbars nowadays <laughs> do a review of it again. It's so hard. Alright, so most uh, soundbars nowadays that, uh, that I guess uh, mimic uh, true Dolby Atmos, they have uh, upward firing speakers. So the soundbars will have them up top. I considered those soundbars, but I believe in Sony and the reviews for this product has been really good. So this is what I went with. And uh, let's open her up and see what she sounds like. Look at daddy. Okay, so let's open this puppy up. See what it comes with. I did not think this through. I don't even have a blade, but I got a backup. Oh, this part. Hoy, get away from here. This is sharp. Okay, watch out, watch out. I don't even know how to open this. So before I bought I bought this uh, soundbar, I was considering the Q70R. I was also looking at a few soundbars from the JBL. I looked at Bose 700. Um, I looked at the Sonos, but ultimately for me and for the size of this living room, I feel like this would be perfect. 
So yeah. All right, as we open the box. Boom, boom. That's why it comes with a Sony manual. Start, startup guide. Boom. All right, so like I was saying, the remote, this is what it looks like. It seems to have a lot of multi uh, functionality. Why am I not opening the plastic? This is unboxing, right? And un unplasticking. So, this is what it looks like. That's what it looks like. Um, I, I thought it was 2020. I, I don't know why we still have remotes that are like a block of cheese. You know what I'm saying? But this is what it looks like. It appears to have multiple functionality that makes it really easy to switch between modes. It looks like there's cinema for movie, music for music, game for game, self-explanatory, sports. This vertical S button, I believe it's a button you can press to give you that that vertical surround technology that Sony claims is um, gives you the Atmos effect where you can hear like helicopters fly from up top you, airplanes, bad guys hiding up there, you know. Uh, yeah. Right here we got the HDMI cable that it comes with. And what appears to be uh, not a battery, it's not a battery. It looks like something to mount your something with the thing in the thing. Alright guys. Here it goes. So when you buy stuff like this, you want to make sure you're you're careful with it, you know, it's really expensive. So Oh, here we go again. Oh, Paw Patrol, Paw Patrol, beat me to the brass. Three. Two, one. It's beautiful. It's so nice, I think I'm gonna keep it in there. Okay, here it goes. JJ, look, it's the sub Alright, so I believe the, the watt, the wattage on this, the amplifier wattage or something like that, is 130. So that's perfect for the size of this small living room. It's not too loud, it's just right. Like my name, JR. Okay. Here goes. Oh shit! <laughs> the bottom is on the top. <laughs> the bottom is on the top. <laughs> I'm a professional unboxer as you can tell. Okay. This is supposed to be the other way. Bam. There you go. This is the new PC that just came out. <laughs> Looks like a computer. Alright, so this is uh, super easy to set up. As soon as you set up your soundbar, you plug it in. This is Bluetooth, but it also connects uh, via Wi-Fi, I believe. That's one of the uh, features that it comes with. So all you gotta do is plug it in, and that's it. As soon as you turn this on, this automatically turns on. We're gonna open her up. So this comes with, uh, I believe, uh, three speakers, hence 3.1. Uh, there's one in the middle, it's like a dedicated, uh, I believe it's for Chris Audio. So, Chris Clear Audio, dedicated in the middle. And so yeah, here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, here it comes, big, big, oh, big, big, big. Oh. I was trying to prank her, but this is just the grill. Yeah, it's just the grill. Yeah, so uh, it comes with a removable grill, so I guess you're more versatile or if you're sick of looking at the grill, you can take it off and look at the speakers, I don't know. That didn't come with the uh, speakers, by the way. So this is what the speakers look like. The, uh, the soundbar looks like without the grill. 
You can see there's three speakers. <laughs> oh, we're gonna put the grill on. Ciao. Oh, see? That's a high res little sticker right there. Um, this is an LED. I don't know what it is, but this is what, this is where it shows you what um, Modrin, like cinema, sports, and all that stuff. We're gonna put the grill on. Bam. Bam. So that's what it looks like with the grill on. I don't even know if there's an up and down. So my first impression of this soundbar is it looks good. It looks good. It looks really good. And it has this black glossy finish up top. It's like a small bar of it. And then this is... I don't know if it's hard plastic or metal. I really can't tell. It's probably plastic. It, it looks okay. The grill is I, re I really do like this feature right here. I think it's pretty cool how the grill comes off. So it changes the looks from time to time. You can change it or maybe even clean it if you need to. So up here, it appears like the there's functions up here. There's controls. Up volume, oh down volume. God. That looks like a multimedia source. Something, something, yada, yada. Bluetooth. That looks like an input changer, so you can switch between your uh, sources. And there's the power button. Uh, I already know I'm probably gonna like push the wrong button here and there, so. Uh, two HDMI in, and an HDMI out. HDMI out. This is the eARC arc version, so that's good. Basically what that does, for those of you that don't know, is when this is plugged into your TV and you turn on the TV, this automatically turns on with the TV, the soundbar does. And um, I also believe that it will allow you to control the soundbar with the Samsung TV controller. Uh, also, it comes with the optical right here and uh, USB right here. And uh, that's it. Let's go. So it that. Boom. But enough talk, enough small talk. Let's fire her up and see what she sounds like. I know that the audio is not going to be able to capture, but it can really put out. But, but hey, let's try it. This price for celebration. For a long new season, 60 kilos of coke a day. Look at that, Charles Eclair, you know what I mean? I really didn't know if it was it was gonna work with the regular TV remote, but it does because of the art um, connection. See? Samsung remote, Sony volume controls. So that's good. But as far as like bass control, you have to use the actual remote. So if you want to control like the bass and all the other stuff, you have to use the actual remote for it. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video. This was my war.